Hey guys, we are back. My battery died, so we missed some of it. But on the foam board, I had to go around and do the sides of it. You know, I left the back because we're not going to see it. We're going to hang it. But I only got the outsides done on this. I'm now going to take my hot cocoa sign and we are going to glue it into covering up that white part that we didn't glue. And I'm trying this new glue that I got from um, through May May. Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. Normally I use the Art Glitter Glue, but um, I was out of that and got this stuff. So we're gonna try something new. But we're going to glue it. And all I'm really doing is just scribbling some all the way around the edges. And I'm just going to scribble towards the middle. And then I'm going to glue it onto our foam board. I'm going to take mine down a little bit because I'm going to pop a hole in the top and attach it to little bit of the twine rope and that's what I'm going to hang mine with. So basically once you've glued yours down you should be like this and now I'm going to go ahead and get my cover back on my glue which is it just gives you a pin that goes on top of it to seal it back up and I'm going to pop a hole. Now, I've had this thing forever because I scrapbook in that, and this is just a tool that is gonna pop a hole in for me so I can get my rope in it. Hopefully, the tool is big enough with popping a hole. And this is your mat for underneath. But I'm just going to do my rope right in the middle towards the top. And it pretty much put a hole in it. So we're going to do the other side. And I'm just eyeballing it. Not a big deal. Chances are with it being a foam board and where I plan on hanging it, it's not going to last but this year anyways. My kids are rough in the kitchen and I'm going to hang it in the kitchen by where they do dishes at. Because I have a coffee, a little hot cocoa bar there. But now I'm going to take the rope, and I like the look where you tie the knot on the inside of it. But I'm basically just going to use this kind of rope. I'm going to bring it in from the underneath. Hey, will you go ask your dad to bring me the thinner one? I have a thinner one in that bin in there. The thinner rope twine. Yeah, I don't want to put a bunch of holes in this, making it really big and obvious, so I think I'm going to go with the thinner twine. So have you guys actually made yourself a coffee bar? I actually like a hot cocoa bar. 
I know a lot of people make coffee bars or they do a hot cocoa bar and um, I personally don't like coffee. I enjoy hot cocoa, which I don't get to drink that much of it, but I made a little section on my counter for that. Is that thinner twine? Okay, so we got some thinner twine that'll fit through there better. And these, this I picked up at the Dollar Tree. And actually, guys, this foam board was something that I dug out of a garbage at Michael's quite a while ago. They had quite a bit of foam boards. These were used when they do their professional framing. They threw them away. And actually, this hot cocoa sign came from, gosh, I don't even know her name. I will input it in this, but it's Jennifer. She's the one that did the marketplace calendars through Dollar Tree that everybody wanted the calendar. She ended up doing some Christmas poses, and I bought those off her Etsy shop. But, yeah, otherwise, it's a fairly cheap, inexpensive way to make a cocoa bar. Or, as you say, hot chocolate. But I am just going to put this in and do a little knot with it. I like the knot kind of on the side that you can see. You can add so much more to this foam board. You know, if you want to add a little bit of greenery, you can add that to the top. Um, I thought about placing a bow on it, but I'm not going to do a bow because mine's going in my kitchen right by, like I said, where we do dishes at, and my husband tends to use a... Um, a big, gosh, what do you call that with the grease? Where you like cook french fries and chicken, and my husband tends to do that a lot, so the bow's just gonna get super greasy. But that's it, we are going to hang it in the area, so we will be back. All right guys, here's my completed hot cocoa sign, and it is where it's gonna go in the kitchen.